well well and well welcome 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 guys and um, in this particular episode we are going to look at one of the short stories in a silent song and other stories package and uh, just as we had promised ourselves we're not going to relent we're going to be up to the task with all those particular short stories and again i said we're going to completely look at the essays and this is essay number four as you can tell and uh, this is from one of the short stories that is the neighborhood watch that is by Remis Ngapiche and uh, we said that we're going to be looking at, not exactly that this is a prompt so maybe the maybe the end of year maybe exams that are going to be tested but one of the attempts on trying maybe to get to maybe uh, have a good uh, grasp and a glimpse of what each of these player writers are trying to bring out but the out of this player essays there are ways in which or there are uh, the, the approaches that you're going to be equipped with and there are many aspects that are going to be touched that is entirely uh, when you're looking at this particular uh, short story the neighborhood now in case you came across this work accidentally, somebody or a friend referred you to this particular channel. Um, how about that in the future you don't want maybe to bump across these things accidentally? You can only do that one by subscribing to the channel and uh, hit the notification bell so that in the future updates uh, of our programs you want you would be notified uh, immediately we are doing an upload. And number two. Uh, comments on the comment section there support this one your words they mean a lot and they are inspiration or they are going to motivate uh, to me to continue doing what exactly I'm doing and three share it with you good friends those ones that you know that this work will be of benefit will be uh, is of value for them and therefore let's dig into it together people living on the streets apply wisdom in order to survive the difficult conditions. Write an essay to provide this statement, setting illustrations from Remis Kambija, the neighborhood watch. Again, people living on the streets apply wisdom in order to survive the difficult conditions. Write an essay to qualify this statement, that is to justify this statement, citing illustrations from Remis Kambija, the neighborhood watch. Now, the keywords there. People living in the streets apply wisdom. Wisdom? in order to survive survive difficult conditions and difficult conditions so wisdom to survive in difficult conditions how is this evident from the text the neighborhood watch now you're supposed to support this by citing evidences and explaining them and also uh, trying to describe if possible so without again that much further ado into our next slide we are stepping into the next slide. Living conditions on the streets are difficult. To survive, one needs to not only determination and effort but also experience, knowledge and good judgment. Members of the neighborhood watch apply wisdom to survive the others conditions on the streets. That is our nut graph or as you may like uh, your, your thesis that or your introduction uh, paragraph right there it has a sum a summed up information in those three sentences but later on you're going to expound them first the crew is judicious enough to secure territory a safe haven for sleeping or just to lay low when they weren't out on a foraging mission the bridge underside is precious real estate to the neighborhood watch it is an important shelter shelter rather, when it rains and during cold winter nights the letters n w sprayed on the columns have the same effect as must p at the edge of a leopard's territory other crews know better than to encroach it lest they face bloody retaliation it is also a safe place to hide their stash so that they don't have to lag their scant positions everywhere that they go. More luggage would slow them down as they rummage their neighborhoods for food and other essentials. Alias calls their territory what? Calls, their, calls it their territory rather. Secondly, they are wise enough to rise early to go searching for food. Elias, Lazarus and Omagano set out before the light of the day is full born. 
they leave early so that they can score the real prizes that is the overflowing beans behind restaurants. In the early mornings, one can get edible semi-fresh morsels. In the late morning, the food starts rotting. The neighborhood watch knows that the early bird does not catch the worms. In order to get there in good time, Elias, Lazarus and Omagano lengthen their strides. They know that time is of essence on the street. The crew knows that they have to maintain a good bond with other people in order to survive. Elias has a good rapport with most of the kitchen staff in the city. They refer to him by the Monica's soldiers or captain. Sometimes they leave out almost the game produce for him and his grown up and his group brother. Because of the good relationship, Elias would sometimes be lucky to get potatoes with broken skins, rotting mangoes, and wrinkled carrots. The staff would be generous enough to give them smashed leftovers from the previous night, for instance, half eaten burgers, chips drowning in sauce, or salad. Most of the kitchen staff are poor, and many a times they will need to take the leftovers to their own families. It is amazing that Elias manages to get some food from them. The neighborhood watch crew is so astute that they have organized themselves into specialized units. Elias, Lazarus, and Omagana are always on full duty, whereas Silas and Martin are tasked with searching for other sessions. Before, Elias was, in, Elias was in on his own, so when he met Lazarus, he suggested that they form an alliance because it was taxing to rummage for food and other paraphernalia necessary for survival in the streets. At first, Lazarus was resistant. Cold, winter, nights forced him to comply. It worked for them since two people could cover more ground. One searches for food and the other for other essentials and therefore they could do more in a day. Now, they know that children and women are valuable recruits. Some obstinate guards demand for about 10 to 20 dollars bribe to let them scavenge through the fence of beans. Elias usually pays them, but when he has no money, Omagana goes behind the dumpster with a guard and does what needs to be done. The valuables crew on the other hand, provide discarded blankets, mattresses, clothing, reusable shoes, trolleys, etc. Trolleys are useful, but they can also be traded for better necessities. The two teams work separately and meet in the late afternoon. They share the food that is bread, mashed potatoes, grapes, and water. The valuables crew brings newspapers, plastic pipings, and poor poor, poor boy rather cups. The neighborhood watch also understands that the city and its neighborhoods. Elias asks the crew to sleep, to sleep since they plan to go foraging in Ausblick tonight. It is too hot to be on the streets now. Night is better and more lucrative for the neighborhood watch. The crew knows that if they eat the beans early, they may score some good things in the Ausblick. For instance, broken toasters, blenders, water bottles, uh, Teflon pots or pans, flashlight TVs, cardboard boxes, and even some food. People in Ausbilek still know how to throw away things. Elias, Lazarus, and Silas will scout ahead from a gym for valuables while Martin and Magana push the trolley. They know that soon Ausbilek will be overcrowded like Olympia and Sudahof. Uh, Pioneer's Park used to be worthwhile but not anymore. Now, the neighborhood watch are deterred by picking heads, barking dogs, and patrolling vehicles with angry shouting men. They know that the earlier they get to Ausblick, the better. The neighborhood watch understands again that in order to survive on the streets, one must focus on the present, not the past, not the future. Everyone brings a past to the streets. Lazarus tattoos are evidence of his prison stint. Elias is not scared of him since he faced gunfire against the South African Defense Forces. Because of hunger or need of food on the streets, they have no time to think about the past. Elias shares some street sm uh, smartness with Lazarus. He says that the streets has no future. There is no need today. Today you need food. Today you need shelter. Today you need to take care of, you, of yourself today. On Fridays and Saturdays, the crew avoids the streets and retreats safely to the headquarters. 
They do this to avoid clashing with patrolling police. Silas wants to leave but is forbidden from taking Martin with him. Elias and Lazarus mock the fools who sit on the roadside in plain windhook and arrows waiting to paint a room, fix a window, install a sink or lay some tiles because they are too proud to forage for food. They end up going home hungry. Martin thinks that sometimes those fools quote unquote can get a good uh, can get a job and maybe things will be better. Elias insists that maybe is tomorrow. And that is only today. On the street, one needs to focus on the present to survive. Every day is today. Elias and Lazarus share what they have learned on the streets with the rest of the crew, including how they decided to change tack. The crew learned that you cannot survive by being around people trying to survive. When foraging in the poor neighborhoods, you only get what they don't need to survive. The neighborhood therefore watch realize that the poor people only throw away garbage, which is disgusting, and babies, which are useless. In the poor neighborhoods, you had to be ready to find shit, old food, used condoms, women's thighing, things with blood, and broken things. When looking for newspapers to light a fire once, Elias and Lazarus were shocked when they found a dead baby. They knew it was time to upgrade. They only went there because they needed to survive. To survive, you go everywhere and do everything. You cannot be picky. But now, they know that they should upgrade and go to places where people have enough to throw away. Neighborhoods with white people and black people trying to be white people have such people. They finally get smart and decide to get away, that, that is to move away from the poor people who have nothing to throw away by themselves. Lastly, the neighborhood watch is wise enough to know that there are some neighborhoods that you have to avoid. They avoid Komsadal, which is overcrowded and people drink too much there. They lost their friend, Amos, there due to his pride and alcohol. And pride and alcohol, rather. The neighborhood watch knows that on the streets are dead bodies, but police would roughly damage, demand explanations from witnesses. They used batoons, bashes, frustrating paperwork, and throwing innocent people in holding cells. When Amos died, everyone, including Elias and Lazarus, knew that they had to run away. They were also wise enough to stick to the initial story that they had nothing to do with the murder when the police caught up with them. They were beaten, bruised, bleeding, with swollen eyes, broken ribs, and injured limbs, but that was better than losing life. They are smart enough to completely avoid consider in conclusion difficult experiences make people uh, take wise decisions enough to cope and survive acuity is essential for survival this has been liberty media class at liberty media class we'll be doing this one we'll be uploading and updating you on the latest even as we will be known remember previously we said that our liberty media class is the latest uh, phase that you're seeing and the changes that you're making maybe to adapt and also to include and to have everybody on board now this one is going to be selectively its uh, playlist make sure that you get uh, maybe into that and then get hooked to the playlist and even as we also having other segments which are coming along above all just want to wish you the best in your endeavors happy moments <laughs>